Timothy, Arconi, or Arconi, Swanee Canal area, and we are got a 12 mile paddle to Round Top, which would be our first platform. Um, this is about as wide as the canal will get. We got here about seven, but we had to register a permit and it always takes longer to load the canoe than you think. So, um, but we've got a nice little paddle. It's supposed to be a nice day. The weather is supposed to be nice the whole time we're here. So, the campsite we'll be at is um, rated one of the uh, darkest spots on the east coast. So I'm hoping, uh, hoping to get some good pictures of some stars. Hopefully, but it should be some good stargazing either way. Um, but. Yeah, we've got a long day. Maybe you can hear the alligators in the background growling. Um, so that's interesting for Catherine, but it's winter time, so they're pretty much dormant. So. We're not. Yeah, we've got a long paddle. I'm hoping to hopefully do a little birding too. As we go along here, so should be a good trip. We stayed at a bed and breakfast last night, about 12 miles away in Folkston, Georgia, um, which is called uh, the Inn at Folkston. Uh, so very nice couple there. Um, very nice bed and breakfast. It was cool. We had a good time. We weren't there very long, but um, maybe we'll do that. It was enjoyable. Yeah, maybe we'll come back. Uh, hopefully, this trip is a success, and uh, Catherine wants to come back again. So we'll see. But coming out into a little bit of a clearing here as we come through the canal. So the canal will be about as. I guess pretty much about as wide as you're going to see here in a second or so. Beautiful sunrise. Looks like it's going to be a nice I like to look we come through an area I like to look back so that it looks familiar whenever we come back. But the cool thing about this place is all the trails are really easily uh, um, they're all marked where you need to turn and when the trail color changes to different campsites it, it lets you know so um, but I have a map just in case so how it goes but this is pretty much it if the uh, landscape changes I will uh, check back in um, as we paddle along Alright, we're probably coming up to about a mile and a quarter of our trip. Um, I said we've got 12 to go. Our official gator count is five. <laughs> One was swimming in the middle of the canal and Catherine got a little freaked out and I told her, you know, it's going to go under the water. It doesn't want anything to do with us. So, um, so yeah, so we're staying um, first night at Round Top, um, Round Top Canoe Shelter, where they're kind of like floating, pl floating platforms, um, I guess they're connected to the land somehow, the Round Top one is anyways, but um, on our second night we're coming back the way we came, we're taking a turn um, and going to Cedar Hammock. And that is apparently the only one in the swamp that is 
truly floating. So, uh, but I'll have some good footage of, um, of those as we go. But great morning, no no bugs. Um, I wasn't sure what the bugs were going to be lot be like. Something in that tree to your right, hanging on that branch. Way out there. You can hear some good growling right now. Yeah, I'll be quiet for a second. There goes a big, big honk. You hear that? There's a big honk over there. You just missed it flying. I'm, I'm looking out for gator number six. Oh, do you hear that? It's a loud one. I don't know. It's loud though. <laughs> This area was neat. Um, so you can see all the Spanish moss on the trees here. Gator count is at six. Gator count is at six. Tiny gators. The one gator we saw swimming in front of us was probably the biggest one we've seen. The ones we've seen on shore have been pretty small, but we haven't seen any like up, up on shore. They've all been in the water and just kind of, you can just kind of see their eyes and the <laughs> top of their snout. Number six was a baby. This is a pretty neat little area here, though. Coming up to a trail junction. There's the sign for our cedar hammock. So I don't know if you can see on video, you probably can't. We'll be taking a right up here to Catherine's right. There's a sign there that says Cedar Hammock. So tomorrow we'll be paddling back the way we came and going that way. It's pretty narrow back in there. So there's our Cedar Hammock. Yes, possibly. 
we're going to go to the left of that uh, grass patch, okay? Just hold your paddle for now. Mm -hmm. Got to see here. Here's our mile marker two. Mile marker two. Okay. Ten more to go. It's 901, so yeah, about 20 minutes a mile. So. See, it's getting a little narrower through here. Probably hear some growling, hopefully. I'll take you through until we get on through this little... Big one right there in front of you. Just one right. right there. To in my left or right? Way up there in front. Oh, I hope whoever's watching. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that sucker's huge. I don't know if they can see that. Oh, number seven. <laughs> All right, guys, until a little bit later. Going through a little obstacle area. I got the video on. Oh, there's mile marker three. What you're doing? Don't, no, just lower your head.
Das ist ein You don't need to paddle anymore. Uh, mile marker seven, um, probably about a quarter mile, half a mile ago. So it is 11:47. We stopped at the Coffee Bay shelter. I didn't get any of that on footage, but I'll try to get some on footage tomorrow. Because uh, we got to come back this way tomorrow. So uh, we've seen how many gators, sweetie? 34. 34 gators. Um, we did have one that splashed uh, right by my paddle, which scared me and scared Catherine even more. So, um, but we're getting closer to our final destination. We got a gator up here to the left on this tree. Hopefully, you can see it. We're just going to cruise by slow. Hopefully, you can see it, and hopefully, it stays there. Hopefully you guys had a chance to see that one. <laughs> we are coming up on mile marker 8. Oh, that's gator number 40. Gator number 40, mile marker 8. Mm -hmm. We just, well, you saw the people that were on the video, so I don't need to tell you about it. Four more miles. Probably a little under four, probably. A little bit shorter. We will be there. Okay, until then. All right, we just took our... Right hand turn to round top. Now we are out in the prairie. Through the round top. Through the lily pads. Are there still alligators out here? Sure. Probably everywhere. Purple Trail. We are on coming up on mile marker number two here. So our next stop should be um, our platform platform campsite. So. Sunny out here, a little bit more wind. 
a little tougher. We're both tired. It's 1.13. So, long day. It's 11 miles total so far. And there's our shelter there on the left. All the way over there. more footage once we get docked and everything set up. Alright, we made it to camp. It's sun is setting. And here's our camp. It's the canoe. Bathroom. Perk. And Catherine reading a book. And here are our views. You can hear the barred owl in the distance, maybe. So tomorrow we're coming back in the way we came. Um, or we might just finish this trail out and come back around. I don't know. I'll have to see what Catherine would rather do. Um, we came from up there on that trail and you can kind of see the trail kind of follows down that way so but these are our views I probably won't take too much video tomorrow of us paddling just because it'll be areas we've already been so um, but anyways this is our spot rant round top shelter Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge Alright, now we're on the, I skipped uh, our route this morning just because it's the same route we were on yesterday, but we just made our left onto the Cedar Hammock Trail, which is the white trail, to our next uh, platform, which is the, the only um, floating platform in the Okefenokee, apparently, so, but we're not too far probably about a mile I guess from that platform so we are on our way there it's two o'clock bad fog this morning and the trail into our last place at Round Top was um, it wasn't the easiest trail to follow so we uh, waited for the fog to lift till about nine o'clock when the sun burned it off um, so we got a little bit of a later start and we want to, but you know, it's been a nice, easy paddle today. You can see some of the trail here. Catherine, we heard a lot of noises at night, being out in the middle of nowhere. And Catherine was a little scared last night, but I think I finally talked her into some sense. So. Usually how it goes. Yeah, this is a nice little trail here. The trail yesterday, we had talked to a family. We saw a family that was uh, had been there the night before us, and they actually got lost in the prairie, which is pretty easy to do because the trail it's marked at the mile markers. But the way that this trail was, it was just very splotchy. Uh, everything was very splotchy, so everything looked kind of the same. So it was hard to tell trail things that were trail and things that weren't trail. So. Um, 
but about 80 degrees, 78 degrees today, I think is what it was supposed to be. No rain. Um, slight chance of rain tomorrow, but we've only got about a three mile paddle back to the Swanee Canal um, entrance. So, um, so yeah. So, all is looking well. I'll take some video um, when we get to the. Uh, when we actually get to our site and show you what the uh, cedar hammock looks like in case you ever want to check that place out. Okay, until then. I'll give you the last couple minutes of the cedar hammock trail, the white trail to cedar hammock. Coming up and we saw it a minute ago through the trees, so. Nice little trail, I like this trail. Might be my favorite trail so far, actually. The canal is fun just because it's nice and wide open, but I like maneuvering through these little places. And there's a part on the canal where you have to get a little bit, uh, you got some obstacles, and it's, it's fun to steer around obstacles. Find it to be a challenge. Fun challenge. So. Maybe this is a yellow trail, not the white trail. It looks like our marker up here is white or yellow. So you should be able to see it in the frame. Up here, which is what all the canoe trails look like. Post with a color and they give you the mile marker on it. So. A lot of compliments. We stopped at a place called Coffee Bay, which used to be able to camp there, but you can't now, apparently. It's just like you want to stop and have lunch or something. Like all the rest of the platforms. Um, got a lot of compliments on the boat. We were there with three other guys that were out for a couple nights, and then a family that was just coming out. They'd been out for two nights, I think. So, um, got a, nice, a lot of nice compliments on the boat, which was nice. Got a couple of new scratches on it though, but I guess scratches come with use, so it's just hard. I'll give her a wash when we get home tomorrow evening. We only got about a three mile, a little less than three mile paddle, probably about three mile paddle back to the park tomorrow morning. Not very far at all. Platform, you should see it right over here around the back. Oh, nice. Oh, we made it. We're oh, here. It's like a real nice platform. So. You can see it there. I'm going to turn you off so we can park until tomorrow. Well, I've been meaning to, I guess, do a quick show of um, my boat, the North Wind. Uh, the North Star Northwind 16, as you can see right here, made by, of course, none other, North Star Canoes. <coughs> now, this is a Northwind 16, 16 and a half feet. Um, I got them, um, this one I got, I obviously got the wood trim, which you can see here is beautiful all the way around. Um, basket seats I got them to add a basket in the middle um, so I could use this as a solo canoe um, if I wanted to um, which I haven't yet but um, plan to at some point so I also have internal skid plates this is the Kevlar with the carbon fiber coating um, on it so um, yeah, so that's the North Star Northwind 16, one of our paddles there. It's Catherine's paddle, my paddle's over there. Um, and I guess I'll go ahead and show you this spot. This is the Cedar Hammock, Cedar Hammock platform. Give you all the views. 
or 10, I guess I'll give Nemo a plug. Uh, Nemo Galaxy two person. Um, a heavy tent for backpacking, it's about five pounds, but it's great for the canoe. I took this, um, this is the Boundary Waters. Um, uh, this past summer, and it did great, especially in the big storm that we had with 65 plus mile per hour winds. Um, it stayed put, and it was no worse for wear. So, uh, just a little hole in the rain fly um, where I uh, where a stick had blown off and punctured it. But um, so yeah, here's the platform. Sorry, all our stuff's out. We we didn't get rained on, but we had a it's extremely moist morning and evening. There was everything was just covered. Um, I knew it was going to be like that, but we were underneath the platform, and I thought that it would keep everything dry, but it didn't. And I wanted to sleep under the stars, so I didn't put the fly on. So of course, everything else was damp too. So um, so we got everything laid out um, and drying. Um, but we're about to have a snack, and I uh, thought I'd show everybody. Um, and Catherine waving. Catherine got some accolades from some people we saw that were just floored that my wife would come out here with me. So I guess that's props to her. But anyways, um, here we are. And I'll probably take maybe some footage later. Until then. Alright, it's 8.26. We are leaving our cedar hammock platform and heading back to canal run or Swanee Canal entry point so we got about three miles this morning I'm going to give you some morning shots with the sun coming up Nice night last night. seen close to 100 while we were out here. I don't know how many of those we saw twice since we backtracked on the trail. So, uh, but,
campsite. I don't know. I like that campsite. It was nice. It's not quite as remote. We were 12. All right, we're getting ready to come back into the Swanee Canal Trail. Give you some footage going into there. Shot going straight down the Swanee Canal. We're a little less than two miles back to our put, um, put in it. our boat ramp. Day. We had perfect weather the whole time we were here, not a drop of rain. Alright, we are coming into our boat launch here, so our trip is coming to an end.
back is in, then I'm gonna get out. Okay. You can just put your power on. Is he gonna get out on the dock? Uh, like over there? Yeah. That might be easier. Yeah. What do you think? We'll see if I can back it in. Okay. Alright. Hope you enjoyed our trip. Look